Hey guys, Ryan here. Now, this video is gonna be far different than my usual videos, but I think it might be the single most important thing I'm ever gonna talk about in a Warzone video, period, and that's why I wanted to make this video. And if you're wondering what it is I'm talking about, it's the idea that you need to do essentially every little thing faster than you're currently doing it. I'm talking about the decisions you make. I'm talking about actually your physical mechanics when you play. I'm talking about the mental aspect, processing situations, understanding how many people are pushing you. I'm talking about your physical ability to push buttons. When you get shot, how fast do you get behind cover? How fast do you begin plating? How fast do you make the decisions? How fast do you hit your slide cancels? How fast do you automatically go into tactical sprint? The list can go on and on and on, but the reason it's so important is because Warzone, the game that we play, it's decided by literal milliseconds pretty much every single game you play. Now, oftentimes, yeah, it might not come down to the milliseconds, but the seconds that you don't see, the invisible seconds that separate good players from bad players and great players from good players are found in how fast decisions are made. They're found in how quickly you can loot a building, how quickly you can decide, this is what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be my plan, how quickly you can identify the key building you need to rotate to and get to. All of these things, guys, the quicker you can make any decision, the quicker you're able to process the situation around you all of it is going to be better and i'm not saying you need to just run around and not play controlled or smart that's not what i'm saying but i'm saying the person who's making quicker decisions is able to think about a lot more decisions while you might be thinking about all right what building do i want to rotate to when do i want to rotate there the person who's already eight steps ahead of you is they're in that building you're trying to rotate to they're thinking how am i going to protect this building they're thinking what people are going to be coming for this building they're worried about people like you and because they went through their whole thought process just a little bit quicker than you and all these little quick little bits of advantages start to add up and there's like this trickle effect that starts to just turn into this massive snowball and because they kept making all these little decisions quicker because they looted quicker because they rotated quicker because they did every single little thing quicker they had an advantage that just is insurmountable and you just can't make it up no matter what you do. If you're always wondering why you feel like you're out of position, if you always wonder why it feels like people are just in the best spots and you're always caught out behind cover, you're not in the right places, it never feels like you have the advantage in gunfights, it always feels like people are shooting you in the back, it never feels like you're finding people shooting in the back, this is one of the key reasons why. But it also affects the moment to moment gameplay. When you get shot guys, I'm telling you, one of the key skills that would tell me if someone's good or not is how fast it takes them to plate after getting shot. If you get shot and you get to plating within, you know, half a second, I assume you're pretty good. But if it takes you a full second, if not more, to begin plating, I'm going to probably be a little worried about your overall skill level because you don't understand the importance. Think about these gunfights, guys. Look, If you look at your health and you look at your plates and you think about how many gunfights you lose just barely, like it's, you know, if you watch your kill cams, you've seen it before. There are gunfights fights where you literally lose because you missed one or two shots or because you were just down one or two shots and that's how you make it up if you think about that person ahead of time that's going to teach you to pre-aim and that's going to make up the difference if you make your decisions quicker you're going to get to cover faster you're going to be more reactive you're going to be ready for people and as i just keep saying over and over and i'm on this whole passionate rant you just got to be faster now, despite getting myself all worked up for the last four minutes ranting about why you need to be faster in every single way I could, let me explain how you can actually implement this and how to actually get better at this. And it begins with having a plan from the moment you get into the game. The second you're in that plane, don't worry about the pregame lobby, when you're actually in the plane, you need to find a place to land. And then when you land, you need to focus on landing in the right spot. Get loot, get guns, find a little mental checklist. After you get guns, what are you doing? Are you trying to find people to get kills? Are you trying to rotate to get a win? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get UAVs? What is going through your mind? And start processing everything you need to do to find success because you need to start working on this over a long period of time and then what's going to happen is as you just playing even when you're in the moment to moment by thinking about the bigger picture faster you're going to start processing gunfights faster because a lot of people 
they just struggle when the chaos gets too much. They'll be fighting a squad 1v3 and they can't process all the different lines of sight and angles. And this is why, because you need to learn how to prioritize things. You need to learn what's important. And by getting your mental processing quicker outside of fights, you're gonna start having faster mental processing in fights. And once you get that, you're gonna have such a big advantage. Because what a lot of people don't realize is it's that mental processing in the moment to moment gunfights that usually separates good players from the most sweatiest people out there. Now, what I'm talking about is thinking about the game faster in a vertical sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you could picture a checklist, what I'm talking about is going through that checklist in a vertical sense faster. But this will also help you improve your thinking in a horizontal sense. So if you have one checklist that says, all right, I'm gonna land, I'm gonna loot, I'm gonna get loadout, I'm gonna call in a UAV, and then I'm gonna push a squad, or I'm gonna push a building to get a win but then you're also gonna be able to juggle a second mental checklist that's gonna be for fights. So you're gonna think to yourself, I see this squad, I see him on the UAV, now I wanna get high ground, I wanna try and get a pick to make it a 1v3, 1v2, and now you have a mental checklist that's now focused on getting the win in a macro sense, but you also have a mental checklist on how to win gunfights in a micro sense. Now, I'm gonna share a little anecdotal experience that I had, but back in the day, in around 2016, I was playing competitive Call of Duty. And to make a long story short, after playing tons of different games, I finally had a chance to play someone in a tournament and face a team that was really, really good. It was comprised of a couple of pros, a bunch of people who won thousands and thousands of dollars from online tournaments, and these guys were insane. And the very first thing I noticed, my teammates noticed, was how fast they played. Every single thing they did was so much faster than we did. When they rotated to a site, they were just faster. When they rushed a site, they were faster. When they went to push us, faster. In gunfights, faster. All of their decisions, everything was faster. And it was at that moment that I realized, this is how I need to be. Because when they made a decision, they just did it. There was no wasted time. They were decisive. When they went through their mental checklist, they went through it efficiently. They checked off all the boxes that were necessary. They played safe, they played smart, but they were decisive. And I think this is the one thing I wish people understood. When you start making decisions quicker, when you start going through this mental process, you're just gonna be better and better. When you look at college athletes and you compare them to pro athletes and you hear them talk about the difference, I mean, I haven't experienced this myself, but when you hear them talk about it themselves, what they always say is the one thing that changes from high school to college to the NFL is that the game gets quicker. Doesn't matter if you're talking about basketball, if you're talking about MLB, if you're talking about hockey or soccer, it doesn't matter. If you go from the amateur level to a semi-pro level to a professional level, the speed of decisions, the speed of everything, the speed of the whole game, every little thing gets faster and faster. And the same thing applies to Call of Duty, applies to any video game, probably any real skill. And I wish that's one thing a lot of people understood. A lot of these skills are universal. A lot of people that I assume were good at sports, are good at playing a musical instrument, good at art, they're gonna probably be good at Call of Duty because they understand how to improve and they understand that's a long-term thing and you have to start understanding how to get better in the long-term and the little things like what I just talked about in this whole video. I know I got really worked up and passionate about this. This is somewhat of a rehash from a video I did a year ago, but I know most of you guys aren't gonna watch the video. I did change a lot of things and I felt like this one was a lot better and a lot more concise. Anyways guys, it's been Ryan. I hope you enjoy the video. Peace.